Hey guys, the release candidate for Console Aspects 3.0.0 is out now. You can go download it in the description, and I recommend you do to test it out. If we do not find any major issues in this version, this is what will release on Monday, August 29th. Oh man, Wandering Trader. This is not a fun situation. But this is a good time to show one of the nice changes in this version, which is that the Wandering Trader emeralds now face the player more consistently. This is only one of the major features that I've fixed since the last version. Another is safe zone settings. I have my safe zone set to not the maximum right now, and this panorama in the main menu and the gamma layer actually fill the whole screen properly. I also downscaled the background panorama for performance, so performance players should no longer have black screens behind them. I changed the distance fog to be slightly less foggy, so faraway lands no longer look like they're suffering intense rainfall. I fixed the horse ambient sound. There it is, so that it now uses the console edition ambient sound for real. So that's really it. I've updated them to a beta. This is the final pre-release of console aspects 3.0.0. The full release is Monday, if nothing major breaks. So I hear you wonder, what in the world is the rest of this video for if you just went over all the fixes for console aspects? Well, the rest of this video is talking about minigame modes, the pack that will release alongside console aspects meant to recreate some of the feel of Legacy Console Edition's minigames in Bedrock. Now I've had to adapt it a little bit because of course survival Minecraft is very different than the minigames, but it should give you enough good feelings nonetheless. First let's switch to survival, and you can see the XP bar has been replaced by the player counter from Legacy Console Edition. They fill up as you gain XP. I think that's a really fun touch. Each of the three minigame modes, Battle, Tumble, and Glide, has their own sounds that match their minigames. For example, all three will use the minigame death sound if you die. I currently have the Glide subpack selected, so if I, say, fell off a cliff and die, you're going to hear... Uh-oh. That. Lots of death. In Battle, you would hear... And in Tumble, you would hear... I've also replaced the totem of undying sound with the winning sound from each game, so if we were to die again, we will be now saved by winning. But what's with all these ores in your hotbar agent? I'm glad you asked. These are one of my favorite touches. In Glide, you get sounds when you collect gold, emerald, or diamond points through these rings, so now in survival mode you'll hear those point sounds when you're mining gold, emerald, or diamond. Let's hear them. These only apply to the ores, not the full blocks, but it's still very cool. It is worth noting that those ore changes only apply when using the Glide subpack. Goat horns in all subpacks have been changed to use sounds from minigames, and then descriptions have been changed to match. So we have Duel for the Battle Showdown, Showdown for the Tumble Showdown, Start for the Tumble Start sound, and Finish for the Tumble Game Over sound. I think that's very fun. The Glide subpack has received even more love in the form of ring textures for stained glass. Light blue, yellow, and lime stained glass have now been replaced with the textures used on those rings that you would fly through in score attack mode. And I've used that to create something of a fun little glide course here that we can test out right now. I've also added the Superman pose when you sneak while flying to minigame mode so you don't need to have console aspects installed to enjoy it. Just like the good old days, a perfect score. I've swapped the tumble sub pack here to show you one other cool feature, which is that I've added the falling sounds from tumble whenever you take, well, a tumble. It's very subtle, but you do notice it after a while, and it's very fun. And just to show you what I was talking about earlier, now that we're in the tumble sub pack, we still have the player counter on the hot bar but we no longer have the new glass textures or special sounds for breaking ores. And with that, the video is just about over. 
go download the release candidate for console aspects and tell me if you encounter any further issues. Minigame Modes does not have a release candidate because it has already been tested by me personally. I know everything that is in this pack, so there's not really any unexpected things that could even happen here. So that will come out on Monday alongside the full release. For now, I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.